Yeah. I don't think we've met yet. Move. I heard your radio beacon, so mm -hmm. I wanted to personally thank you for giving okay. us this opportunity. I'm ready to help with whatever you need. Just say the word. Holy sh! He arrived in full combat armor. That's awesome. Hey everybody, I'm Recycled. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 VR Essentials. Uh, apparently we have a new guy. Um, listen to the computer. Why is Not it right now. Thanks. Oh. All right then. I'm completely exhausted. I need to break down my gear and stuff. It's pretty boring. Yes. I only s no. Wait, creep. Rifle, rifle. Yeah, I don't know about these crossbows. I'll have to see how they uh how they look on the table to figure out which one I want, if any. And um, all this stuff is really interesting. Anything I can help carry? Nope, I'm all good now. Although I am completely exhausted, I guess, and I can't tell because I'm building the wrong kind of weapon. Yeah, I am in really bad shape. I'm thirsty and I'm exhausted and I think I have tapeworms and stuff, but we don't have a doctor here. Oh, I should do that. I really should. <laughs> but I won't. Things are tough now, but they'll get better. Not yet. Uh, I did your quest, but I don't want to talk to you. It's really convenient where you're standing, Preston. You ask me. Freedom's always worth fighting for. Yep. Go away. Yeah, so we should probably shadow our armor, so it'll be even sneakier. But, um, are we radiated? Maybe. Oh yeah, we were super radiated. All of our HP was gone because of radiation. Uh, I really need to sleep. Um, can we do this thing to our armor? Oh yeah, and I should add that mod that makes our, uh, vault suit look cool. Although I don't think it adds any, like, functional features. It just makes it look cool. And this one, I guess, is, uh, the best one i found so far because it doesn't hurt our agility and I'm trying to be real sneaky. <clears throat> so you can upgrade it if you have the right stuff. Apparently we don't have any adhesive still. Um, can we plant the right plants to start getting adhesive? We already have some of them. Alright, so let's, uh, harvest everything. We'll just step on your face. I need to assign someone to this. But yeah, we need more farmers. Okay. But, um, yeah, realistically, uh, I'd like to save a little bit of this, uh, oh god, we're low on Tato's. In fact, oh, that sucks, we don't have enough Tato's. We'll all steal some from the, uh, Abernathy's, but that is not convenient. Can you stand somewhere else? You're just sandboxing. Go over, go over there. Because we need some damn adhesive, like, now. Yesterday. Quick. Oh, what? I can put this anywhere. Oh, no, I can't. It's just not showing correctly. Well, don't stand there! Stand anywhere but there, you stupid bastard! I took away those things for a reason! Go where I showed you! Ah! Oh, certainly I could put this somewhere. Come on, man. It's like a uh, glitched, I can't do it. I want to put mute fruit. Okay, it was glitched. Uh, and we have lots of it, so... I guess let's try and assemble our, uh... This is Crooked Rose. It's not a greenhouse. It happens. In greenhouses, it's easy to be really neat and orderly. But I just don't want to use all the, uh, all the plants, all the adhesive. Um, that's actually perfect right now. We just need another farmer. And then I need to go get more potatoes to make what I have on hand into adhesive. Vegetable starch, actually. Uh, June, you're a sad sort. You'd rather be working with plants. They're alive. Or remind you of good things or something and everything is assigned so let's see i can't make any because we don't have enough tatoes well we have five mute fruit but we only can make one because we only have unless we can get more mute fruit so what i'd really like to get is four mute fruit and seven tatoes <laughs> i don't think they have four mute fruit over there and uh, i can't sprint so i guess we're gonna fast travel i wonder if i can reset up sim settlements are these not, uh, fruiting? I want meat fruit. Do you sell meat fruit? Connie? Carla? Carla? Hey, Carla. Back again? Time to do business? I need adhesive real Let's bad. see what you've got. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. And or meat fruit. And or potatoes. She doesn't have that. All right. She has no adhesive. I guess we bought it all and she has it re-upped. Well, that sucks. Connie usually doesn't have hardly anything. Hey there. Blake told me what you did for us, for Mary. I know it's not much, but any trading you want to do, I'll go easy on the price. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to take a look at. They look like they fruited. I guess I just had to load in. Sounds good. No, she doesn't sell meat fruit. And she doesn't sell anything that has to do with uh, adhesive. Useless. 
I really need mute fruit. It's too bad you only have two. Um, I'd like a lot of potatoes. I don't want your name or plaques. Okay, I think that's enough. Well, we wish we had more. And yeah, I guess as the population goes up, we're gonna have to um, make more. Otherwise, we'll stop being able to make adhesive because people will be eating all the uh, ingredients. Yeah, I hear a dog from over there, but I'm sure there's not one. It's Phantom Dog. Oh, I'm being stalked by bad guys. I should pay attention. Um, I want to shoot them with this. Now, what are they? Ignore the background glitching. It's dogs, right? It's dogs. Well, that was simple. Yeah, I still gotta look up if there's any quest associated with this. Because I can't believe you only can get a, uh, one cap for each of these. Seems kind of crappy. Although the way you could farm them, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, another phantom dog. There's not a dog, though. There's a blowfly. You know, they're hard to hit because they're so little. Dodging master. Of course, I get that one on the second shot. Good thing I'm shooting 38 cal. Oh my god, we have so much of it. That's good. There's a safe here. Oh, got it all. Yeah, I want to upgrade my guns. Not that I think I'm going to get any trouble from uh, Red Tourette or anything. Yeah, and if you like, there's actually a mod made by Eleonora, a famous uh, modder, mostly of Skyrim, but also of Fallout 4, to actually fix this damn bridge. And she also built walls, junk walls around the entire settlement. It's called, like, uh, Sanctuary Improvements. You can get it on the Nexus. All right, so we can make a little bit of this. Uh, we can make two. It's going to give us ten adhesive, which is a hell of a lot more than what we used to have. So, and um, I guess I'll... Plant some deacon? Nah, you look like him though. Well dressed, actually. Uh, we'll plant the rest of this, and if we can make three and three and three, then I will assign an extra farmer. Even though I was trying to make this place scrappy, then uh, doesn't matter. Because right now we just need so much adhesive. We'll worry about scrap later. Can't build anything without adhesive. <laughs> These rows are so bad. I only have one mute fruit. Tell me one of them's fruiting. Tell me I can get more? I can't. Lame. Well, I'll still assign the other farmer. Because we can't afford not to be printing as much mute er, adhesive as possible. So this unemployed person, which I guess is the guy dressed as a guard, is going to be a farmer. <laughs> For some reason. And that means everything will get assigned. Including this one weird mute fruit, right? They will. I think there's an extra plant somewhere, but I don't know where it is. And like, they don't use any animation to tend to it. I know that Eleonora put planting boxes on the back of, uh, my house, but I don't think those count. But it's the reason why these things aren't going to get tended to. Really annoying. Well, anyway, I'm exhausted. Agility bonus. Wow. So you still get the special effects, you just don't get any healing. Which seems kind of overkill, but whatever. Are we still hungry? Jeez. Oh, because of my tapeworm. I have to eat double food. Alright, well, whatever. Need to sleep. And I have an infection. Yeah, it's time for the uh, antibiotics. Plenty of problems. We'll take them. And stop drinking my water. You're wasting my water. Stop it. Stop it. I guess I can get more from the bench. Okay. We can make cooking oil out of our uh, melons. <laughs> it has glass. That's weird. Or it takes, uh, no, it gives you glass. But it requires glass. So you get the glass back. And the melons turn into oil. That's neat. We're a little bit radiated. I should put some lights over here. Um, I guess I'll put the light hanging off that roof thingy. Something. Like, eventually, I guess I can set up a bunch of street lights and stuff. But they take a lot of energy. Unless you have mods, there's a mod called Solar Street Lamps. And it does what it says. You can't put this there. Really? Well, I guess I'll put it in the windowsill. Or something. Well, it's better than nothing. <laughs> 
and uh, they don't require electricity. They come in every color you can imagine, and uh, you know everything. So let's upgrade our guns. Or do we want to upgrade our armor or our backpack? Oh, it only goes up by five. That really sucks. Damage resistance. It's free. Looks cooler. All right. Uh, we can't shadow it because we're not good enough at armor. Do we have like a I level suffer. waiting? We do. We can get armor too if we want it. Um, or he gets Scrapper 2, but Scrapper doesn't, it's not really meaningful until you get Scrapper 3 at level 40, so I'm not too fussed. And I do want to get sneakier and more agile so we can, like, get more stealth attacks and stuff. But, uh, you know, Gun Nut's what lets us build silencers, and, uh, we can't do it yet. Gun Nut 3 doesn't happen to level 30, no, or no, Gun Nut 4. Yeah, so Gun Nut, Gun Nut 3 happens next level, and we'll definitely get that. But, um... Yeah, I think we'll be sneakier if we can just upgrade our armor a little bit. Oh, you can make your helmet dense. That's good because it's so light. But I'm not going to be wearing a helmet forever. Because if you have a padded piece and a dense piece, then it protects you, like, a lot from explosions. So, uh, but the reason why we can't do that... No, I don't want to make it padded. Oh, because you don't have armor at three. We can't do this because you don't have science three. Oh, this requires gold. Huh. Yeah, it's strategically worth its weight in gold, though. <laughs> yeah, so this mod takes oil and uh, some other stuff. But otherwise, yeah, pretty free. I probably don't need to have an anarchy symbol. What else do I have around here? Probably want Miniman, right? Brotherhood. Yeah, I had my game configured in flat where I couldn't see these previews for some reason, but here I can see them, so that's good. Oh yeah, the Institute. <laughs> oh, there's a clean A. Classic anarchy symbol. The Disciples. Railroad, Super A, Rust Devils, Missing Texture, <laughs> Vault Numbers. I guess because I have these things, I could just put them on whatever I want. Well, it's not like anyone's going to be looking at me, but... Heck yeah, let's do Institute. <laughs> Where do we ever find this? Yeah, so my favorite is Shadowed, but Colored with Minutemen. It looks like it only requires oil now. So, previously I had to get, like, paint for this, but not anymore. Unless there's a cooler looking one. Nah, this one looks the darkest and the coolest. We'll be doing that to our armor. And ultralight is probably the best upgrade, but we can only do that on armor at three. We could do deep pocketed already. But man, we need more adhesive. I think we might run out before we can even shadow all our stuff. Hmm. Well, I mean, it is extra carriage weight. Yeah. I mean, I would do this. We just don't have enough adhesive. Yeah, so now we're all, uh, darkified. <laughs> My character's up super early. Everyone else is still asleep. It's dark out. I went to bed so early. This thing at least needs a laser. Yeah, do the laser. And man, <laughs> we never ended up using this. I was like, I'll put a stock on so I get extra damage. But then it makes it so awkward to use. I end up not even using it. Oh, so here's this tactical crossbow. We don't have a lot of bolts for it. But basically, it's a crossbow. Um... I guess you can, like, reload it quickly or something, and it shoots bolts, but we don't have many of those. Oh, so we got some legendaries, dude. Let's take the legendary off of this, and that wounding one, too. A switchblade of wounding? No thanks, dude. We'll take them off. Yeah, we could scrap that. Scrap all this dumb stuff. We got this Mac 11 that I know nothing about. If this turns it into a rifle, then, uh, I mean, I don't know if it's better than a pipe gun. Probably not. I wonder if it's a rifle like this. Maybe not, because the damage didn't go up. Because I have perks in that. Well, in that case... Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up... I need to make a stockpile over here. Like, uh, at least to keep Nuka Cola in, so... My settlers don't drink at all. Because they'll do that. They'll leave this ugly box here. I can keep stuff in it. And, uh, I heard as long as you don't keep ammo in the box, then they won't steal your guns. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that thing. Not gonna use this. This rhino would be pretty cool if it had, like, a different sight. I mean, the glow sights are good, but it's, like, it's just not fast enough to line them up. Oh, yeah, so we tried this scope, but it was weird. Um, if we have more nuclear material, we can get a reflex sight. That would be good. Huh, I guess we can't. And we don't have enough damn adhesive. Well, we don't have gun nut high enough. We can get the lightweight grip. It makes it a little more accurate. It's already pretty accurate. It's pretty cheap. Oh well, I gotta think about what my primary weapon's gonna be. So probably whatever I have the most ammo for. Um, if I wanted the shotgun to be absolutely devastating... I mean, it depends how many pellets it shoots, because the explosive effect doesn't seem very good on it. 
But it does do a lot of damage. Um, so if it was incendiary, I guess it will do less damage because it's already explosive. And if it was wounding, I don't know. Sure, it helps the value though. This gun could be pretty good, but it needs a real stock and we can't build one yet. I've been using this pipe gun a ton and this laser rifle. Incendiary, set them on fire for 15 points of damage, but I don't think it stacks. Although since it's a single fire, then wounding probably isn't the best. 25 points of additional damage. Well, I could take it off if it doesn't work good. I think ideally it's for automatics, but otherwise the other gun I use a lot, it's my pipe gun. So I guess this one will be incendiary. Not as good as explosive, mind you, but still something. Yeah, we could swap those all around, however much we want. Yeah, meanwhile, oh, Preston like that? We could do that all day. So yeah, we're actually supposed to report back to Jammer uh, after we kill Jared. So I guess let's do that. Although it's the middle of damn night, uh, I guess let's do it anyway. Let's go over here. It is so super dark. My settlers aren't very happy. It's just dog meat and uh, <laughs> Codsworth. Ugh. Yeah, I gotta put some lights up around here. It's way too dark. But we don't even have uh, electricity yet. How's this thing work? They're wireless somehow. Um, yeah, we can make you guys happier here somehow. Oh, the roof. There's someone walking on the roof. Well, there could be someone on the roof. I think I sent that Bob guy here. That's why they're so unhappy. He has no, um, probably no bed. Here he is. It's Bob. Bob the Settler. Bob the Settler needs a place to sleep. So let's at least clean this place up. And make some kind of living area. There's so much shit on the floor. If there's only one Settler, I guess he should get a clean bed. Because I'll need a place to sleep too sometime. I swear I turned the rotation speed down, but it turned itself back up. Oh well, close enough. Yeah, Bob, you can finally sleep. You know what to do. The dog needs a dog house. Dog doesn't complain, though. Dog's still here. That's all right. I guess you can uh, sleep right here, dog. Is it a miscellaneous furniture? No, I think it's actually a decoration. God, it's huge. It is impossible to get this thing straight. It's so sensitive. All right, you know what to do. Bob, go to sleep. That's your bed. Oh, I guess you have to assign it the first night because they only try to find a bed immediately when it's like bedtime, like when it first starts. Yeah, there it goes. I don't need to sleep now. So I guess their happiness will come up a lot. And yeah, I think I will end up adding subversion to this because I want to like the Institute. But I can't do that if father's an asshole and makes me kill my friends that gave me a cool gun and ballistic weave. Just can't have that. Oh no! Total fail. I scrapped the armor bench. Oh shit. Well, I guess I'll have to get local leader. I don't even want to reload my save game. Who knows how long ago that was? It wouldn't be that long ago. If we had that damn mod I was talking about before that automatically saves every time you enter a new cell. Or when you fast travel. Or level up. I used to have that. Yeah, I meant to, uh, do what? Just move it, actually. Alright, but this goes over here. Damn. I guess if I really wanted to, I could, you know, god mode in another one. In fact, I think I could do that right now. Console's enabled. Hmm. Haven't done this yet in this playthrough, but hey, I'm not cheating. <laughs> Honest mistake. You gotta stand on these buttons to get it to work. I'm pressing the buttons of a virtual keyboard with my controller. It's like it just doesn't want to work. And yes, I know that's not the best string to search for, but backspace doesn't work either. So. Um, I think you have to use page up and page down to scroll through this list. Do I have such keys? I do. Good virtual keyboard. Uh, but once again, I have to hold them down. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm just gonna take off my headset and walk over to the computer and then we can do it. I did something very stupid here. I forgot to relaunch Oculus Mirror. So, the entire rest of the episode is in this box format. Yes, yes, it was very dumb. My bad. Anyway, here's the rest. Well, we got something. Oh, and it works. Okay. Yes, yeah, so the problem with spawning stuff out of the console, usually it spawns in at a weird ass angle. And uh, sometimes you have to reposition it like uh, set angle X, set angle Y, zero. No, that happens if you spawn in power armor. Bob doesn't have a job. 
If we had, uh, well, Bob doesn't have food either. He probably wants that too. So we gotta plant something. But all we have is this melon, this one melon. Oh, and this razor grain. Oh, and I have some potatoes too. Pitiful. And <laughs> we have a carrot. Good for nothing. All right, Bob, you now have a job since uh, Cosworth is incapable of work for some reason. Hey, human, do this. Good settler, does what you tell them. And kind of random too. It's like they decided to just add an extra one with a name. Well, there he is. I don't know if Bob's got a secret that he hasn't told us about or something, but yep, just a uh, name settler. It's pretty cool. So uh, let's go and talk to Jammer. These blood bugs ever respawn? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, look at all these raiders just hanging out. And they're all friendly too, to me. What's up? Hey there. Well, look who it is. <laughs> Corvega the same shithole I remember? And how is the king of the heat? You give Jared more holes than just the needle tracks? His head exploded. He's dead. Damn good work. Don't feel bad. He had it coming. I guess we're doing this now. Are those our guys? That's a pretty good trick. I picked out the bad guys from the good guys, even though we're all bad guys. Greater retaliation. Uh, we weren't even done talking, dude. We can give this to dog meat. Yeah, if you guys had a uh, armor bench, we could break all this shit down. But I don't guess you do. All right, what the fuck were we talking about? And how is the king of the? The mouth isn't moving. You give Jared more holes than just the needle tracks? His head exploded. He's dead. Damn good work. Don't feel bad. He had it coming. Fifty Cap says he didn't even feel it when you put one in his skull. But I guess we'll never know now. So he's a bit more than that. From me. For putting that adult fool down. With Jared out of the way, it's time you take on Red Tourette's game. I'll work on recruiting more guns. We got some real freaking animals out there chomping at the bit for some action. Anyway, that crazy bitch Red is holed up in a bunker on the western edge of the well. The federal ration stockpile. Got a big crew with it too. In other words, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. Unless somebody makes them. That somebody is you. Make Red dead. I knew that, but you didn't give me the quest. In fact, if he tells me to kill Tower Tom and I've already done it, uh, I mean, he told me to do all that stuff all at once, so I knew what to do. But anyway, yeah, so it's not too far from Walden Pond, and I really want to get the magazine that's over here. So let's go. Even though we don't have a tapeworm anymore. Oh no, what the fuck is this? Oh my god, it's a super duper red, um, red storm. It, interactive. Unlimited. Alright, well, I guess we need to get to the stockpile because it's <laughs> hell on earth out here. And, uh, soaking up rats. Oh, this place is, uh, civilized. There's already people here. And someone's shooting somewhere. The robots here. Are they under attack? This- yeah, they are. Alright. They're shooting you. The ghouls? The ghouls spawned and now you're attacked? They're inside a locked door. Got it. What is it? Are they underground? Oh, you need to scrap this thing. That's not right. Well, anyway, I'm gonna die if I stay out here. So you guys have fun with this. And, uh, I'm gonna get that book. Yeah, all the, uh... The ghouls are here. And the ghouls died. I don't know. Uh, the book... The book is in one of these houses. I don't remember exactly which one. I have to get to an interior. I have to get there soon. In fact, I may not survive. I thought it was in this one. Who really knows? Yeah, this is totally overkill and shit. Um, I don't have time to find the book. I'm gonna phase through this wall. And, uh, this isn't gonna work, because I'm gonna have to make a beeline for the, uh, the door, and everyone's gonna be shooting me, and my health is, like, almost nothing. So I really need to get my AP back so I can kind of teleport and sneak in before I die. Unless, uh, I think the storm's going away. Well, shit. I still don't have a damn silencer. I should probably turn this light off. 
Uh, here's the regular door. Who's there? So they're not gonna like that. Yeah, the weather was shit. All right, so that didn't work out too well. Um, I guess we could try one more time. I need to talk to, oh, I have to do all this. Ugh, I'm pissed. We have to do this, we have to fight them. All right, I don't know if they attack because I was talking to him or if they just attack every now and then regardless. I don't now know what you remember. The heat. His head exploded. He's dead. Yep. Somebody. Yep. 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 Are you about to get attacked? Because I think you might be about to get attacked. What are these guns doing laying here? All right, well, there's not any crazy raiders here. So I guess let's uh, save the game and then go to Walden Pond. And if the weather's bad, but it's not, I guess we'll just stay here. Uh, we can go to Sunshine and it won't be a shit show. And then I can be tactical about... Great scrap. Yep, they're under attack again. Same place. Can you get it? Are you locked in? The door's locked. That guy's a synth. Uh, does this look easy, easy now? Hands up. We can do this the easy way. Not easy? Come on. We can do this the easy way. Just leave, man. I have no backup here. Oh, this is a crime and punishment. The fuck? Fuck you, synth. Yeah, you know he's a synth because he would drop a synth component. No one else is mad about this. Yep, synth component. Well, anyway, that was the real enemy in your midst. I guess the uh, weather's still shitty, so I really want to find this magazine, and I think I have, um, well, no, only Fall Complete would tell me exactly where it is. Loot Detector won't tell me. It only tells me where legendaries are and bobbleheads. So I guess I'll just check each of these. There's more of them. They seem like they can handle themselves, though. Salvage Beacon. Yes, yeah, so I wonder if, um, hmm, maybe it's this one. Oh, and they smartly built a wall around it. Yep. Hmm. Somewhere around here. I think it's one like up on a hill. Here it is. Wasteland Survival Guide number nine. Yes. Double meat. Forever. Wow, shadowed ultralight combat armor? That's better than what I'm wearing right now. And I've been working on this. What the hell? Why does mine offer better protection? And is heavier and more expensive? Oh, it's a leg. It's an ultralight leg. Duh. Wait, and this is my shadowed arm. What am I thinking? Oh, it's a better right leg. Okay. I thought it was a chest piece for some reason. Tripping. And I don't really need to be here otherwise. All right, so let's, uh... Yeah, you can get into the Lonely Chapel too, and then you don't have to deal with all the raiders in the front door. I think it's unlocked. I think you can just go in. A hostel, I'm bearing 33 of stalking me. That's like behind me. And there's gunners up there. Fuck you, man. What? Fuck off. And a dog? Jesus Christ. This is fucking crazy. They're fucking me up. I can't see them because of the fucking grass. This is why I disable it. Alright. Um, we scared one away. And I guess we killed the rest. 
Brawling, what does that mean? Bonus brawling? I guess we killed them all. Oh, no we didn't. Fuck off, bitch. She only ran away for a second and changed her mind. <laughs> rolling, 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 rolling. What? Oh my god. Oh. Two shot. It's the best. And a Western pistol? I will take it. Um, so definitely save the game. Because holy shit, we got a two shot. Yeah, I don't know what I'll put it on, but probably my highest damage. Probably. And uh, these guys will certainly be easier to take out from the inside. So let's go in this way. Yeah, and you know, I could have put a silencer on my pipe gun, but I didn't because we didn't have enough adhesive. <laughs> I should be using this because I have so much ammo for it. I mean, you think it would make less noise. This is an internal cell, right? I should warm up. Yeah, I guess uh, maybe I should just like not equip my... Uh... Oh, but this doesn't give me any... Or my bag doesn't give me any... Uh... There's no penalty. Am I not wearing a right? I have two right gloves? What's going on here? Oh no, I'm wearing the ultralight, but I have this one. You'd think they would cover this entrance or something. Really? Uh, it's on fire. Huh. Oh, you have to use... You have to use the scope of scoped weapons or they're really fucking inaccurate. And I think... This is near Red's uh, actual place where she is. Oh, we did. We killed Red Tourette. She was the only one who aggroed on us. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, we could clear this place out though. We could probably definitely use the loot. So yeah, we probably want this... Uh, incendiary on like a gun that has a reflex sight or something so it'll be like easier to uh aim but also it sucks using scopes in general because this collection of mods makes the game crash sometimes when you're using scopes i've run the game i've my previous iteration if you saw my other uh playthrough of fallout 4 vr that one did not crash when i was using scopes actually so i'm not sure what causes it but all i know is just Tear it all down and try again. Yeah, she got a magazine here. There's red turret. Here's a password. Someone's looking for me. Or a turret. Quantum. The US Covert Operations Manual number three. Hell yeah. It's my favorite kind of magazine. And now that we're ultra sneaky, we can ultra sneak around and kill everyone. Yeah, there's the guy that's looking for us. Screw you, man. Catch fire. <laughs> So if they had enemy health bars, we could watch it draining, but they don't. Good thing I didn't upgrade my uh, legs. Well, if I did upgrade them, I would have upgraded them to ultra light. It's funny, usually you don't find stuff like that until you're at least high enough level to have made it yourself. If you just invested your perks differently. Whoa. Jeez. Whoa. I shouldn't be using this scope here. This is silly. We'll use our super duper laser gun that does uh, woundy damage. <laughs> Fucking badass. You can drink beer when you're a little bit overweight. Give you a little more carriage capacity. We can open this door. We can open it. Not that we need to. We can go the other way too. Uh, let's snipe these fucks. Bring it on. I'm over here, you ding-dongs. I can't hit shit. Hold on, reloading. Yeah, catch fire. <laughs> Give me all your cans. <laughs> quantum, quantum, that's good. If you like pre-war food, this is the place. A fat man. We can unlock this again. No, but we can lock it. There's the main entrance. 
That won't stop a VR player. I'm sure there's more of them. What? Bats. Man, the acoustics in this place are awful. You can't even understand what he was saying. Who detected me? How? Whatever, I'm going down. When I open these boxes, novice locks. A door squeak made me jump. <laughs> no one here. Money. Yeah, what if I should specialize in luck? Because we got lucky loot in that critical hits mod. Can't stand radiation. At least not until I'm ghoulish. Then I'll laugh in the face of it. We need to have a lot more endurance for that. Won't say that much endurance. Practically invincible anyway. So many hit points. We really kill all of them? Huh, maybe we did. Oh! 50% more damage against robots. Wow. It's like a troubleshooting tool. Combat light. Yeah, pretty good stuff. I haven't cleared this area yet if there's any front guards. But there's not. Alright, well, let's clear them out. Not that we have to, but... It's good XP. Hello! Alright, so I could just sit behind this wall and fuck them up. I'd run too if I were you. Are you kidding me? I can't believe they're so tough. Die already. Yeah, I guess I should use uh, my shotgun. Cause fuck everyone. Are you coming? I mean, I can come to you. I like a chance to look over all these damn bodies. This bat's got mods. I can break it down and get the mods off it. Probably just steal those since it's a chain. Ah, ah, ah! You're running away? Don't do that. We didn't run into the guy in the power armor. He's around here somewhere, right? Bolts. A quick crossbow. I mean, if we get enough ammo, then I guess we'll try it out. Polished and pocketed robot armor. Pretty good. Yeah, I distinctly remember, there's usually some dude in power armor who ends up coming after you. But it seems like no one notices us. A harpoon? <laughs> Say that for later, I guess. I don't think I ever used one of those guns. There we go. Yep. Cleaned it out. Good. Yeah, we got that awesome gun, man. Can't wait to put that on something, well, better. Find the postman's body? What? Is it around here? No. How the hell would I have heard about this? Weird. All right, well, we can turn this in, and then I guess I'm gonna go back to Sanctuary to regroup and upgrade my ultimate weapon. And, um, maybe wait around a little bit to grow some more beef fruit so we can get some more adhesive so I can finish upgrading all my gear. Cause, gotta do that. Let's go turn it in. The man himself. Hey there. Word out there is Russian stockpile is having some roster problems. You wouldn't happen to have some good news for me, would you? She's dead. Sure. Straight and simple. The way I like it. And with Red gone, Things are going to be a lot simpler around here. Thanks to you, the wealth is short two Raider gangs. Now we need to make it three. Tower Tom is the last asshole on the list. He's holed up in Beantown, across the river. He's far enough that we could probably just ignore him, but I know him. He'll move on both Covega and Ration if we do nothing. We can't have that. We're almost ready to make the big move. So go deal with Tom and make it quick. Once he's out of the picture, we can stop painting our own. Oh, uh, there's a fellow defector camped down on the rooftop of Lexington. I think you should meet him. Name's Willy One-Eye. Yeah, don't ask. He's got wicked good aim with a rifle. Might be handy to have an eye in the sky over Lexington. Yep. I guess you didn't get the, um, memo. <clears throat> well, I'll be damned. You actually did it. I hear Beantown is as flat as their stupid booze. That leaves us. The strongest gang in the whole Northwestern well. With the others dead, now we can really get down to business. Yeah, what are we doing? All right, what's up? <laughs> what's up? 
what's up is we start taking over. We're gonna take a settlement and make it ours by whatever means suits us. Are you kidding me? I suggest you take them out, direct. Unless you got an alternative you wanna try. Someone asked me to kill these guys. Well, yeah. My charming personality. It's cute you think that would actually work. So getting serious. I'll think about it. Just don't think too long. Alright, well I didn't realize we were gonna do this stupid home sweet home shit. So uh, I guess I'm gonna get an explosive minigun and kill every one of these assholes. Because this is not what I wanted. Um, yeah, back to Sanctuary. I mean, I was gonna kill those people anyway. But um, now we got some extra XP and money and caps for it. So there is that. So I guess it was kind of good. But now I have to go risk my life while I go kill those guys. Because I'm not going to be forward with that quest if it means I have to go take over a settlement that is already friendly to me. Although not every settlement is friendly to me, they would be if I let them. So it doesn't really count. Especially the Sim settlements now that they're all building themselves up and shit. But anyway, y'all figure out what I want to do with these legendaries and this farm and everything else. And I'll see you in the next episode. I'm cutting it here. If you've been watching, thanks. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.